hello guys this is Hassan Niagam from Niagams this time we will show you how to solve moment distribution method every time we bring you a new examples in solving it YouTube is a platform of giving some ordinary students a break and giving them examples that could solve in their exam so before going into deep examples let's see the basics of moment distribution method First of all, you have to listen it carefully. And importance of the moment of moment distribution method. The moment distribution method is a structural analysis method for statically indeterminate beings. You should know it. And a frame developed by Hard Cross. Hard Cross is a structural engineer which is developed by the moment distribution method. It is published in 1930. Further, this method only accounts for flexural effects and not axial and shear effects. That should be remembered from the 1930s until the computer began to widely used in the design and analysis of structure the the moment distribution method was the most widely practiced method whereas in the moment distribution method very every so every joint of the structure to be analyzed is fixed so as to develop the fixed end moments then each fixed is frequently released okay sequently sequently released or something else and fixed end moments which is the time of release and it's not equilibrium are distributed to adjacent members until the equilibrium is achieved the moment distribution method is mathematically termed can be demonstrated as the process of solving a set of simultaneous equations by the means of moment distribution method so this is the basics of applying other course of moment distribution what to analyze now what to analyze is how to analyze moment distribution method in order to apply the moment distribution to analyze structure the following things must be considered as well the first thing is fixed end moments distribution factors moment distribution and the BM diagram I know it will be as long as a video possible but uh, yeah this could be helpful for us to know the basics of moment distribution this simply supported continuous beam which has no fixed supports also we can see that in figure so we'll solve the simple one then we'll solve the other fixed one so now what's the direction of going to the moments where simply supported is the end moments are zero always you can find it i have researched many more that the fix and the end is zero so you have to carry the moment in the middle of the support so you have to, die, to carry over the support to middle this also to the middle first to find is the fixed end moment as i stated earlier fixed end moment should be i have not stated earlier so i am again repeating the video was paused that time so fixed end moment is the moment of the fixed end and that could be calculated by the following formulas here yeah, for UDL that's the formula of the universal formula for UDL is 4WL squared by 2L and for point load is WL by 8 that's the formula you have to apply and from the appliance you have to go from this to this remember this is trick this is left to right you have to take a minus sign of WL squared by 2L this is a UDL in my in my state I, I have performed a UDL we have to go for another type of UDL this is a UDL load coming to 40 kN to 4.8 meter and 3.6 meters so EB is going to minus WL square by 2L and BA this is right to left we have to go from positive direction this is WL square by 2L BC is minus so minus WL square by 2 and CB right to left so it's wl squared by 2 you have to solve it and get the answer of fixed end moments next up is distribution factor distribution factors consist of jo uh, uh, a table of joints joints is the single joints we have a b and c joints b has two numbers of members b a and b c so joint b will be written here and he it has members b a and b c uh, so it joins a and c there is no further maximum length of uh, members so it will be the we have distribution factors as 
A and C this is a simply supported and it is given by 1. Distribution factors are given by 1, 2, 0. That's the value of distribution factors. So let's continue to solve this. For the value of distribution factors, this is the formula we have to get from the joints B have to go for B, B A, B, C and A and C is as stated above. It is simply supported, it is 1. If it is been fixed or we will see if it is been fixed it will be zero yes it is fixed and both are fixed it is zero in a cantilever so one zero and one simply supported that is one so b a b c how it is classified is b a b c Wait. there we go b a b a is equal to three e e 3 e i upon l and 3 e i upon l both because of the simply supported ends far what does this mean if the far end is fixed so it will be 4 e i upon l if the far end is in the middle of the state it will be 4 e i upon l we have to be classifying this formula so i have calculated 3 e i by e i is a constant taken you have to take e i as consideration in the example so that could be 3 ei 2 ei but i have taken ei is a constant only 1 ei so 3 ei upon l l is the length and w is the load coming from the upward direction moving on we have the toughest kind of distribution here now kids say that this is a first one but uh, if you solve it is the easiest part in this example so let's go here where's the mic yes. here we have to write a distribution factors and fixed end moments here so that's the that's the thing to solve it so distribution factor upwards and fixed end moments up downwards i have to draw the box like this and just like a beam shape this is a support 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 and the load coming downwards so we have to write all this now the first step we have just a reminder that we have to calculate the load into this direction because fixed ends are not available we have simply supported fix at the far end so you are going to do this 0 0 and the load should be carry over to B in this fashion I will show you in description what is the method so first of all to get this 0 a and c so 43.2 is the load 76 point minus 76.8 is the load so what we have to do is 43.2 is this so we have to write minus 43.2 so it gets 0 so this is 7 minus 76.8 we have to do 76.8 that is in positive and do the sum of this that is 0 no need to calculate so now what is the carrier factor here carryover factor is the ratio of moment produced the far end to the moment applied to the near end it will not be as theoretical but I will show you we have to calculate our ca carry over this moment into far s to the B so 43.2 is given by half I don't know why but you have to go for half 43.2 half towards this 76.8 half towards this this is minus 43.2 remind you as i stated earlier 43.2 has been half here and 76.8 has been half here and the sums have been calculated downwards like this and now further for equation we have to go for the basics of this moment distribution method this is important part and we have to solve it right now so 38.115.2 minus 64.8 this sum sum of these two into the carry into the distribution factor that is the sum of this into the point 0.428 and that's the answer is 21.57 minus 21.57 you have to calculate it right now or if you are watching it right 115.2 minus 64.8 into this and you have to write in this so again you have to do sum and to multiply by this 0 0.572 you have to write this that is twenty eight 
8.83. So now the biggest part and the, the most difficult part of this sum is here. What's the sign convention? We have to take minus or plus here. So the biggest part here, we have to not consider this part, the minus one. Minus you have not considered which is the bigger in this. 115.2 115.2 is the bigger one so the left side is the bigger one so the sign convention will be minus always remember the left side you have to just see the left side not the right side the left side will be bigger one it will be minus the left side will be in smaller one it will be plus so remember that one so we have obtained the answers we have to sum this whole subtraction remember the fortunes of this example as A and C should be 0, B should be calculated at the moment, this should be obtained at the moment, M, B is equal to my. The answer should be same. If not same, it will be different from point zero one zero two or something else. But if it's completely wrong, then your example is wrong. So I am quickly showing this fixed and moment diagram. The video has been too long for this time. So the fixed end is given this and a UDL the uniformly distribution load and simply support it at this end so a b c and we have to transfer the load on not to b but to a sorry for that so this time you have to transfer the a why a because a is a fixed end fixed end should be as far as possible the fractional strength of the fixed end is more so the moment is been carried over to fixed end so the a c is also been carried over to a and b is also carried over to b the moment distribution method diagram imaginary diagram would be like this in the in the simply supported it would be like this but in this diagram it will be like this always remember this i hope you get that quite often because it can't get then getting reversed then you have to solve this by watching my video so thank you for watching it and please do subscribe and like and share those who don't get this some while i have researched more than a half an hour bye bye for more videos and more vlogs I will be there. Just write in the script, in comment section that what you want ask and what you want to don't ask. You should not write. Okay, bye.